These two new plugins for Motion VFX are probably the most impressive plugins I've ever used. Hey guys, I'm Dylan, and my good friends over at Motion VFX announced the release of their new MRoto AI plugin and M Tracker Surface, bundled into what they're calling Cine Studio. Let's first dive into MRoto AI. In case you don't know what rotoscoping is, it is essentially a way that you can cut out or mask something in your shot to help create various animations and visual effects. The issue is that this is very, very time consuming as you not only have to click and make individual points around the object, but if the object or person moves or the camera moves, you have to set keyframes and then move those points every few frames. It's an absolute pain. Well, let me know if this excites you as much as it does for me. Just draw over whatever you want cut out and MRoto AI automatically masks out what you want. You'll have to sometimes go in and draw more to select more, but I've been so damn impressed at how well the mask snaps to that person or object. You can of course erase any parts of the mask that you don't want applied, and you can also switch to a normal brush, so not a magic brush, to mask out parts of your shot. And the thing that makes the plugin truly amazing is the fact that you don't need to keyframe and move your points at all. You just hit track and it usually does a killer job at covering that person or object while moving. So if you wanted to create a blurred background look, you could mask out the person or object you want in focus, track, duplicate the clip, and then just add that effect to the bottom clip. Yep, the plug-in's pretty hot. I'm gonna go get a fire extinguisher. That fire clip would have taken me so long to create using the Draw Mask tool in Final Cut, but by using MRoto AI, it cut down my editing time to a few minutes. This example doesn't look very realistic, but that's not the point here. The point is that the plugin was able to mask and track these moving leaves with very minimal issues. I wouldn't even attempt to do this in Final Cut because of how painstaking the process would be, but it was a piece of cake with the plugin. Another way you could use this for is color correction. Now I wouldn't suggest using this for color balancing because likely your entire shot is off balance and not just the person you're masking. But I would suggest using it to essentially make it look like there was better lighting on your subject. Normally I'll do this with shape masks in Color Finale 2 Pro or with the tools in Final Cut, but I like how precise this plugin makes what is affected. So for example, in this shot, the overall exposure of the shot is at a good level, as you can see on the Luma waveform. But the light source was just too far away from him to make him really the focus of the shot. So all I did was use MRoto AI to select him and his shirt, tracked it, and made the exposure adjustment to that clip. And look at this difference. It kept the exposure of the rest of our shot the same, but brightened him up. Him and only him. And if you're still confused as to what this plugin does, if I just move this clip over, you'll see that we essentially cut him out and make the adjustments to that cutout of him. And then of course you can go in and shrink or expand the edges and blur them to help them blend in better. The last thing I want to touch on with this plugin is that it should give us the ability to create masking transitions much easier. Now I haven't tested this out in depth, so I can't say for certain how well this works, but I do plan to do more videos on the channel about it, so subscribe if you haven't already. You like that segue? <laughs> The other plugin released is called M Tracker Surface, and this is the most advanced planar and surface tracker for Final Cut Pro. You can track walls and different objects, but what really impresses me is the mesh mode in M Tracker Surface. My style is impetuous, my defense is impregnable, I'm just ferocious. I want your heart, I eat your children. It allows you to track changing and irregular surfaces like skin and fabric, among others. And when you place images on those surfaces, they morph and move with them. Just notice how it moves in waves as I move the shirt. I mean, it is just so, so impressive what it can do. It comes with a lot of cool features to help sell the effect. So you can adjust the color balance of the image. You can add blur, motion blur, a drop shadow, light wrap, grain, and of course, you can change the blend mode of it to help it blend better with the other footage. 
and a few other helpful features to help everything look real. A really cool feature that I noticed is that M-Tracker Surface and M-Roto AI will still track even if you click off and do something else in Final Cut. So it tracks in the background, basically. This is huge because I don't know about you, but having to wait for things like this to track usually causes me to check social media or do something else, which ends up leading to maybe an hour of wasted time. Now, how well you can work on other things while this is tracking definitely depends on what computer you're using because it does take a lot of processing power. It's still a cool feature though. You can try these plugins for free for two weeks. Once your trial period is up though, these plugins are only available for rent. And what I mean by that is Motion VFX has started something called Cine Studio, which is a subscription model that gives you access to all of the plugins that you see on the screen. These are undoubtedly some of the best plugins for Final Cut Pro. And so if you have a project that you think you'd use them in, just rent Cine a studio for three months with the quarterly plan. Once again, though, they're offering a two week free trial. So if you want to give the plugins a test drive before you decide anything, I'll put a link in the description. Have a great rest of your day, guys.